I want to take a few minutes to talk about an imbalance that we rarely speak about. It's an imbalance that happens in the pitta dosha and that is not in the mass manifested physical form but on the mental level. Now this imbalance shows up as frustration very often but really comes from a lack of direction and a sensation of purpose in life in general. And we have to remember that the pitta dosha, that is the combination of fire and water, has for main characteristics transformation, movement, action, going forward, progression, right? So it is also the dosha that is very linked to the male energy, right? If you would look into the Chinese medicine, for instance, and we talk about the yin and the yang, the yang being the male energy, we would find that the characteristics of yang energy is very similar to the, or are actually the characteristics of the pitta dosha. So men has in general, um, quite a high representation usually of pitta in them. And when their pitta is out of balance, we will notice this of what we sometimes call the um, shadow aspects of the male energy, or like some people like to say, maybe these days of the toxic masculinity. Now, I want to speak about this more specifically today because I had a consultation with a male patient in Ayurvedic um, consultation yesterday and I've noticed this this came up and I've noticed this with other men as well who are experiencing an imbalance in their pitta dosha that is represented or manifested often as frustration but it really comes from a lack of direction and I think that it's really beautiful that we can find a way to balance this out not to begin with trying to kind of break into our head how to get rid of this frustration or how to find the direction again, but to start from a much more subtle level, which is actually simply by our dinacharya or by our routine, our circadian rhythm. I have spoken earlier, um, well, previously about one of my patients, who is also a man, who were showing up imbalances in this dosha, but had more imbalances in the kapha dosha, for instance. So when we also changed his rhythm of day and night, we would see an increase of direction and clarity of mind there as well. So as we focused on the kapha dosha more for that patient, the um, pita imbalances were also lifted. And it's the same with my patient from yesterday. It is a question of finding the rhythm again that is actually the natural rhythm for anyone, but very much so, of course, for Pita as well, which will bring him into getting up earlier in the morning and actually setting off a time early in the morning for meditation and for journaling. Why? Because when we manage to rest our body, rest our organs so that they can purify during the pita hours of the night, which is even more essential, therefore, for someone with a pita uh, main dosha, we can wake up early and feel lighter. And when we feel lighter, when we wake up early, we can sit down to, me to meditate, which will clear the mind, so will soften the frustration and the idea of lack of direction. And when we then, after the meditation, after the meditation, sit down to journal, it will actually bring grounding into our thoughts. So by naming the thoughts, putting words on them, writing them down, we will get a clarity of where we are at, which will actually bring a sense of purpose already here into our life. And as we begin to bring this rhythm into our daily habits, little by little, that frustration will elevate. So the beauty of the Ayurvedic principles, likes attract like and opposites balance out. We find them everywhere.